First time Penn State economists are revealing the amount of money and jobs Pennsylvania could lose if spotted lanternflies spread in our region. Our Evan Hinckley read through this study. He joins us now live in State College. So, Evan, can you tell us what did you find out? Well, good evening, Amanda. Current projections are showing that the state is losing $50 million and that up to 500 Pennsylvania workers could lose their jobs just as a result of the spotted lanternfly. Now, those numbers are uh, concerning alone to many in the state, but those numbers also could get a lot worse. When we think of flies, we often think of pests. But to many, the spotted lanternfly is far more than a small annoyance. People are at risk from losing their entire businesses. The flies are known to take out fruits, especially grapes and other crops like hops and many types of trees. Tim Kelsey, Penn State professor of agricultural economics, looked at what could happen if the flies spread. He and others found that if they leave the 14-county quarantine zone, the state economy would lose about $325 million a year and about 3,000 workers would lose their jobs. In the worst case scenario, the state would lose $554 million, with about 5,000 workers losing their jobs. Farmers and foresters are at the highest risk of losing their jobs, but it's not just growers who lose out when the flies eat their crops. There's a domino effect on other industries. If farmers are producing less, the, the suppliers that the farmers buy supplies from, they're going to be receiving less business. Likewise, employees at those businesses, employees on farms, are going to be working fewer hours, are going to be late off and so the impact of their spending as well. To backyard grape growers, to, to people with a vegetable garden, it really affects everybody. And Penn State researchers say that the cold weather will not be enough to kill the flies, adding that the polar vortex back in 2014, for example, was not powerful or cold enough to kill them off. On another note, Penn State researchers are currently working on a special spray that would, in effect, kill all the flies while not harming any other types of wildlife. Uh, any types of publishments on that research is expected to come out in the next couple months. Reporting live here in State College, Evan Hinckley, WTAJ News.